morning, good morning. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. I'm Aaliyah, and today I'm just gonna bring y'all with me. I'm gonna finish my cousin's hair. So I'm doing my cousin's hair in a little mohawk with some braids and curls. And this is the weave that I'm using. Expressions little looks. And it's a uh, 12 inches, I think. 16 inches, I think, something like that. Anyway, this way look like it come pretty straight. So I'm just gonna take small pieces off because I'm gonna do like the feed in method and I'm almost done actually I started last night but she got sleepy so I just went ahead and I um stopped so yeah you just pull the pieces apart like small sections and you want to like make sure that you um like kind of keep the sizes equal Okay, so this is how you want to lay your um, weave out. If you don't have one of them stands where you can separate it and have it on this like different bar or whatever, you just layer it like this. You pull it, and then that way you can easily just pick them up. They don't tangle or anything like that. But yeah, this is how I do it, and I prefer to do it this way because it's just right next to me, and I just pick them up and I braid. Okay, y'all, so this is how I get started. So basically, I'm just going to go ahead and make this one braid because I don't want too much like tension on there. So, I'm going to take this right here, the comb, and I'm just going to line it up with that hair right there. And sometimes you want to do all the braids even, but you also have to go by the way that they ha their hair is on their head. So, I'm just going to get it parted out. And then, at least try to get it to line up on the other side, like... This braid is done. Like these braids are done, so I try to get that to line up with the part right there. The other side of the braids are done, is what I mean. But yeah, I try to get that to line up with the other part. As you can see, this is where it ends over there. If y'all can see that, I need to get my light. Yeah. So then you just gotta. I'll go ahead and put some jam on there. I don't put jam on the edge part because um, it's a little short right there so that I can grip it the way that I need to. I start a little behind because sometimes like jam is very slippery to me. So if I would have started at the root, I wouldn't have been able to grip it because it would have just slipped like the hair would have slipped right through my hand. And I'm not the best at parting if I must be honest with y'all. I know some people are OCD about parting. I'm just not. And so, yeah, you want to just go ahead and line it up and I'll be back. Actually, I'm going to get my cap, my light. All right, y'all. So I am back and hopefully you can see better because I have my, my light up, but Anyway, this is what it's looking like on this side. Like I said, I do not put, I don't start putting jam on the hair until it's about right here because this hair right here is shorter. And so in order for me to make sure that she have the better, the best results that she can have, I just avoid that. Some people do, you can do it if you want to. I do it if the hair is longer, but since the hair is kind of like shorter and thinner right there, I'm just gonna not. <laughs> So anyway, I just take my comb and I'm just combing through because I don't want any hair to be snagging and pulling and all that while I'm trying to go ahead and get her braided up. So now it's time to get ready. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just take this hair right here and I want to do it to where it's like pulled together but it's not like painful if that makes sense to you and bring you in a little bit. So there I'm gonna start braiding. I'm just gonna braid, like some people be like, well braid two times, braid three times. Well no, you do it however you see fit. So I'm gonna braid it until I feel like it's a good time to add the weave in there. Cause I'm only using about three or four strands on her hair and one is gonna be at the end. So now that I have that, I'm gonna probably go across one more time. There we go. So now I'm gonna take my weave. And this is the size of the weave. And I'm gonna take it around my pinky finger, right? Like that. And then I'm taking it here and I'm gonna twist. Now, this is her hair. So I'm gonna twist it and put it under there into where it's coming, where my finger is. 
I don't know how to describe it, y'all. But anyway, and then you're gonna go ahead and braid once, and then I go ahead and get the other piece, and I like to twist it around and then grab it. So this is my index finger, and I have my thumb, and it's holding the weave. So all the weave that I attach goes in between these fingers, as you can see them, because that's how I have the hair. All the weave that I attach goes there. So then I just keep on braiding until I feel like I need to add more because I'm going for a certain look. If you add too much at one time, it get big right there. Or oh, whatever. So I want them to be kind of smaller because I want these, like her hair to look kind of natural. So like I said, I'm only adding about three pieces all together onto her hair. So I'm going to get ready to stop because I only have one piece of hair that don't have a weave attached. So I made sure that one was in between my index finger and my thumb. And now this is another way that you can add the weave. So I just folded it around my finger like this, if you can see. And then I just take it between that index finger and that thumb and I gripped it right there. And so I'm holding on to it, but I have a strand right here and a strand in the middle. And then you can just go ahead and braid that in. But I like the first way better because it just feel more I don't know it just feel better to me but it's up to you and then you just keep on braiding and like I said I want this to look really natural so as you can see it look like it's hers you know it's all her hair so now that I have that in there I'm going to braid this to the end now and then at the end is where I'm going to add the last strand of weave but at the end I do add it the way that I did it the second time is how I add it um, to the free braid. Like the free end. I call this the free end. I don't know what it's, you know, called. But anyway, so I just braid it down a little bit. Let me pull you out a little bit so you can see. And then now I just got it like this. And I'm going to take this weave like this as well, like again, and then put it between my thumb and that index finger one more time and I just braid it in and then I just go ahead and take some jam and I try to get her hair smoothed and then you could try and tuck the weave like make sure that I mean tuck her real hair like make sure that the weave is on the outside of the um, natural hair And I know some people use a lot of different stuff. It is some stronger braiding gel, but this is all that they had. I would have preferred to have stronger braiding gel, but her mom only had the jam. So we're going to make do. Anyway, with that being said, y'all, I will be back. All right, y'all, so I'm getting her hair parted for the next braid. Now, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 braids on that side, so I'm gonna try and get 10 braids on this side as well. Um, I do have this part and this right here is gonna be like braids going over to the side and curled, but it may not be 10 braids on this side because I have this coming like more to this side. But anyway, I'm getting her hair parted. And then, like I said, I'm not gonna start with the jam at the root because it's too slippery for my hands anyway. If you can do it, you do it. So, I am starting to, um, let me put this in ponytail real quick. I am starting to slant, like, the braids upwards because on this side, let me turn you around. On this side over here, let me pull y'all out. I have, um, the braids and they're kind of coming up a little bit because it's going to be a mohawk. But when they get ready to pull her hair up, it's going to at least be able to look look right like it was supposed to be a ponytail as well. Because the back. So, you know, sometimes people do mohawks where it just goes straight across and like when they try to put it in ponytail, it don't really look right. To me anyway. So, I just put it up a little bit to where it can still look like a nice little mohawk, but it will also fit as a um, decent little ponytail. Like if they going on an event, like going outside or something and she just get tired of having her hair down, going to bed and don't want the hair on her or whatever. So... Yeah, that's why I did it like that. But anyway, just gonna do this braid for you all again. And make sure you are combing the hair out because the last thing you wanna do is be worried about the tangles and stuff while you're braiding. So I'll go ahead and take that piece of hair 
and then I braid until I'm comfortable. I know some people, like I said, some people like to count. Some people be like, just do two and then you can add the weave. No, you do as much as you feel like. Like I said, I want this to be a little more natural looking. So I'm not going to add that much weave. I'm really just adding the weave for um, the extending factor. So at this point, so I wrap it around my thumb and then I twist it put it between my index finger and my thumb, braid it about twice, twist it in again, and I braid it around. And then when I feel the need to, I'm gonna go ahead and add in another weave. So I'm gonna add it in now. And like I said, this is the second way that you could do it. Have it in your fingers like that, and then put it in between those fingers and just braid it in and then make sure when you all are doing that you just holding the hair tight you don't want to loosen up see you later babe love you you too yeah you braid it in and then once you get to the end you can start braiding down Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add in the other piece of weave. You do it like that, put it between the thumb and the index and just braid it in. And like I said, with her hair texture, I would have preferred a more holding braiding gel, but this is all her mom brown. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna make this work. So then you try to you want to make sure that you have the hair even as well. Like these three strands right here, you want to make sure they're even. So I overhand braid, or no, I underhand braid. You know, somebody asked me a while ago, do I overhand or under underhand? I think underhand, because overhand is when you're going like this, right? Anyway, so. I like braid it tight while I'm on her hair and then once I finish her hair then I can add a little extra speed to my braiding and then let me show you all I don't braid it all the way to the end because I want it to I want the curls to look right so I do braid it past her hair and then there so we're going to separate the hair like this take a little piece off and then so we have this piece and a little piece and I just wrap it around and cool <coughs> and then I just do it one more time and then there's a braid all right, y'all, so none of my cousin is done choking. So I went ahead and um, I have two braids left. And like I said, I'm going to braid those upwards simply because I want her to be able to comfortably put up, like, put her in a ponytail. So when she goes on outings or when she's going to bed or something like that. Now, I still don't um, put the jam at the the um, front of the hair because, like I said, I, it's just slippery. If I was using, like, a, a better holding braiding gel, I would have. But anyway, you want to make sure that you come it out like I said and do not try to break these people's hair if it's not combed out y'all if it's not detangled so I braided it like I did the last one like I started off and I braid um only thing is I didn't add as much weave I think as the last one or I braided it up a little more but um also the way that I put the braids in like the weave in to braid um I did it the way that I don't really care for because it was more comfortable for me to do when I was braiding her hair upwards than um, the way that I normally would. So I have to turn my hands like a different way when I do it that way, y'all, because it makes it more comfortable. So I just went ahead and I added in one piece of braid, braid and weave, and then I made it sure that I added another one. And I believe I did three. Yeah, I did three on each braid, but I tried to not make it um painful and i tried to keep it as natural looking as possible y'all so i went ahead and this is when i finished braiding all her hair and she got a little strawberry shaped head yes but that's how the hair look in the back like um i'm getting ready to curl it so i am using those flexi rides and i got those from the beauty supply store and i just used four on her entire head y'all so 
and let me just yeah scooch up here so i went ahead and i just started wrapping it around um like i straightened out the weave or comb through it or whatever and then i just wrapped it around the flexi rod and then i started to twist the flexi rod now what i wasn't really mindful of that i do want y'all to be mindful of is the direction that you are using the um that you are curling the flexi rod or curling the hair because you do want it to be um going the same way i know some of them i did one way and some i did the other way and it actually didn't turn out too bad looking but um i would have preferred to have done it the way you know done them all the same way and once i realized it i was like well i'm not taking it down to redo it <laughs> so um yeah all those i think i curled going to the left and then i curled the one in the front going to the right but um you curl it and you wrap it and you make sure you have those flexi rides going on there right y'all and i don't know what's on the baby's face but she looking all at the camera and stuff and i was like girl what you looking at creep so you know i had to turn her head and it looked like i pushed her head a little rough but it wasn't that rough because um this video is sped up a little bit but anyway like i said i wrapped the other ones one way and then i wrapped the front one the other way like away from her face so yeah that's what it looks like so now i am getting ready to um I dip her hair in the boiling water so i had a measuring cup that i just filled with water and i put it in the microwave so you want to make sure that you are cautious i did go ahead and put her a um dry towel down just in case i had any drippies like any water dripping down i didn't want her to get burned so i put it in and i kept it in for a few seconds or whatever um make sure that you dip everything that you want to dip in there and you know at one time you leave it in there a little bit so i went ahead and i got the towel and i just dried it off before I got to the next one and then you want to make sure that their head is leaned back a little bit because you don't want it to potentially come out and then it hit that scalp baby because that scalp is going to be on fire so anyway I just went ahead and finished dipping all of it and I went ahead and used the dry towel like I said to just get that excess off and I let it cool down for a little bit so here I am just getting ready to um like I did her edges and everything already. I just used the green eco style gel and I just went ahead and took them out. Now I didn't pull the flexi rod straight out. I just unwrapped it like the opposite way that I did wrap it. And then that's just so that the curls can still be together. And then I'm just going to go through and I'm just going to rake my hands through them. And if you can tell, because I can tell a little bit, the curls were directed like the direction of the curls was different going different ways but it still turned out well it wasn't bad enough to where it's like oh my gosh i need to take these out because y'all one thing about me if i'm doing your hair and i feel like it's not turning out right or if i feel like i did something a little wrong baby i'm going to take it down and i'm going to do it over because i'm like go send you outside looking all crazy and stuff by the head but anyway um um this is the finished look and i think it's really really cute it's really nice and appropriate for a kid um they can't wear beads or anything at school so um like the little daycare preschool i am showing you that she could just throw it in a ponytail if she wanted to but make sure y'all like this video if you like this video subscribe if you haven't already and also comment down below let me know what you want to see next mm -hmm.